Hey, what is up guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros and I am back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be bringing you some benchmarks of the PNY GTX 1050 Ti. Is this graphics card worth your money and is it worth upgrading over the 750 Ti? Let's talk about that. All right guys, so Nvidia recently released their GTX 1050 Ti series and I was able to go on Newegg and pick up this PNY 1050 Ti for $140. Now most of these 1050 Ti's and 1050's are sold out online so be sure to watch out from buying from resellers who are going to try to do a price hike on you because the MSRP of this card is only $139 US. Now this card does bring in a compelling value. It goes below the 1060 and 1070 and obviously the 1080 and does bring a 1080p mainstream card to compete with AMD's RX 460, which AMD actually just did a price drop of their RX 460 and 470 to compete with this card. Now there are already a lot of reviews of this card on the internet, so I just wanna get right into the benchmarks with this card and show you all what this thing is capable of and then give you all an idea of what we're gonna be doing with this card and some of the videos and ideas we have for for this kind of build with this card. All right guys, so let's get right into the benchmarks. Now this card is gonna be tested in my personal rig featuring an i7-5820K, so we can remove as much bottlenecks as possible when testing this card. So without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy these benchmarks. Alright guys, so as you can tell from the benchmarks, this card is a beast at 1080p. You can pretty much play most titles nowadays like Battlefield 1, Overwatch, and CSGO at medium to high settings, maxing out titles like CSGO at ease. This card is aimed at being the shooter type card, the card for people out there with the mainstream titles, the competitive titles that really wants 1080p gaming performance, and I really do recommend it at $139. Again, with Nvidia and their pricing when it comes to new cards recently with this 10,000 series generation I would really wait and make sure you get a good deal on this card I don't overspend more than $139 because then after that the value of this card really does decrease in my personal opinion so overall do I recommend this card of course this is a really awesome value card and we're gonna be doing a couple tests with it in upcoming videos I'm gonna throw this card in my Xeon X 3450 rig the $15 PC and see how well it performs and also gonna be using this card in a upcoming build for a friend of ours which is gonna be featuring an FX 6300 and we're gonna see how well it performs with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big like down below and comment what you think. If you wanna pick up one of these cars, there will be a link in the description down below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get more content from the Toasty Bros and follow us on Twitter for more updates and future teasers of videos that are gonna come out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video once again and peace out.